In this video, we're going to learn how destructors work with inheritance and drive classes in C++. So destructors are functions that run when an object instance is destroyed, and they're in contrast to constructors that run when an object instance is created. Typically, a destructor will do things like free dynamically allocated memory, for example, and other sort of cleanup work. Now, a derived class and a base class can both have a destructor. So in this video, we're going to explore the relationship between those two destructors. First, we'll make a base class. We'll say class, base class, public, and we'll keep it real simple. Our base class is just going to have a constructor and a destructor. So we'll say base class. And in the constructor, we're just going to output that the base class constructor is running, followed by an end line. And the destructor is going to be very similar. We'll copy and paste this. We'll add a squiggly in front to make it a destructor. And then here we'll say base class destructor executing. Now the destructor is going to run when an object instance is destroyed. And there are several situations in which an object instance is going to be destroyed. One example is when a function has a local object instance. When the function returns, that's when the object is going to be destroyed and the destructor is going to run. So let's make a function here called func. And our function is going to have a local object instance. And for now, it'll be the base class. So we'll say base class example. At this point here, when we create the object instance, that's when the constructor is going to run. The destructor is going to run when the function returns. I'll actually output an end line to separate the constructor output and the destructor output. We'll call the function in main by saying func. And I'm also going to output one more end line in main to separate the destructor output from the program ended output. So we'll save this and run it. And we get base class constructor executing when the function first runs. Then we output this end line. Then when the function returns, that's when the base class destructor runs. And that's it. Now that's with a base class. How is this going to work when we have a derived class? We'll make a derived class to figure that out. So we'll say class derived class colon public base class. So here we have a derived class that's going to have base class as its base class. We'll make a constructor and a destructor again. So we'll say public and derived class for the constructor. We'll output this time derived class constructor executing. So derived class constructor executing followed by an end line. Let's try it with just the constructor first. And in the function, we're going to make an instance of the derived class now. So here we'll say derived class now. And if we save this and run it, we get base class constructor executing then derive class constructor executing. So in the case of a derived class, the base class constructor is going to execute first, and then the derived class constructor is going to execute after. How is it going to work in the case of a destructor? Let's see. So we'll copy this and paste it, and I'll make it a destructor by adding a squiggly here. And we'll say derive class destructor executing. And the destructor should execute when the function returns. Let's see what happens. So we'll save the program and run it. And again, we see that in the case of a derived class, the constructors are going to run in this order. First, the base class constructor is going to run, and then the derived class constructor is going to run. But in the case of the destructors, it's in the opposite order. So in the case of the destructor, the derived class destructor runs first, and then the base class destructor runs after. And that's how we can expect destructors to work with inheritance and derived classes in C++. It's in the opposite order of the constructors. The derived class destructor is going to run first, followed by the base class destructor. So we should do any work in these destructors with that in mind. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.